The People's Liberation Army Navy, the official name of the Chinese Naval Forces, can now permanently operate from a second overseas base. Satellite imagery shows a pair of Chinese warships have been docked in Cambodia for months. We've reported before on Cambodia giving China exclusive access to operate out of the Reem Naval Station. So for more on the development of this base, be sure to check out san.com. But basically, even though the Cambodian constitution prohibits foreign military powers from operating permanently within the country, the Cambodian government started letting the Chinese make improvements to the pier at Reem a couple years ago. Those improvements included extending the pier, dredging the harbor so bigger ships could dock there, and building permanent structures on land like dry docks and troop barracks. The latest wrinkle to the story came on April 18th when the Center for Strategic and International Studies published photos of a pair of PLAN vessels that have been moored at the pier longer than what would have been expected if the ships were just passing through or just in the area for naval exercises. When counting the number of ships, China has the world's largest navy, but the Reem Naval Station marks just the second overseas naval base for China. The first is in Djibouti at the base of the Horn of Africa. And these bases are the start of what Chinese leader Xi Jinping hopes will be the beginning of China's Blue Water Navy. The Blue Water Navy is a maritime force capable of navigating the world's open oceans in a safe and efficient manner, uh, basically able to sail in the wild blue yonder of uh, the world's open oceans. China isn't there yet, and the location of their two naval bases prove that. Now, these are approximate locations, so keep that in mind. Uh, but the Reem Naval Station is right about here in Cambodia, and the second Chinese naval station is at the base of the Horn of Africa in Djibouti, small country right about there. Now, keep in mind that uh, this map is flat, it's 2D, the world is not flat. Uh, so imagine this, you know, kind of on a sphere, but the location of the bases shows that the Chinese Navy doesn't really, so here's China, right? Ports in this area. Chinese Navy doesn't really have to leave uh, the safety of the coastlines to necessarily circumnavigate this part of the globe and uh, sail to its two overseas bases. Uh, they can pretty much, like I said, hug that coastline and get where they need to go. So while plenty of folks are taking notice of the newest Chinese naval base, it's not necessarily a surprise that it was built, uh, but it does add to the concern of growing Chinese naval aggression in this region of the world.